hint. Morning, everybody. So good morning to everyone. Welcome to today's Healing Minute from Harry Edwards Healing Sanctuary. And I'm Tracy talking to you from a very frosty Reading today. We definitely had the frost last night. It's, it's actually looking beautiful and I can just imagine what the sanctuary is going to look like today because, you know, when you're crunching through all those frosty leaves and it's all covered in the frost and it's looking gorgeous and white, but not too deep in snow so you can actually get around. So I'm looking forward to seeing some pictures later. But anyway, wherever you are, thank you for making the time to join us, whether you're watching us live or on catch up and an extra special warm welcome to any newbies that have joined us today. So I had a little think about what today's theme should be. And I thought it would be about self-healing. And later I'm going to read an article from the winter 2016 Healer magazine called Following a Healing Path by Michael Lewin. Le 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 and what better music to listen to today in preparation for the Healing Minute than, than Deep Healing by George Winter. So we're going to have that on in the background. But as part of our preparation, we'll start with some relaxation like we do every Monday morning. So I hope you're somewhere comfortable. Whatever time of day this ends up being that you watch. Somewhere where you're all wrapped up nice and warm and snug. And having a little bit of me time as well. As sending out those wonderful healing thoughts to everybody else. So please shut your eyes, if it's safe to do so. Park all thoughts to one side and clear your minds of any worries or concerns. Bring your awareness to the breath. Remember the air we breathe, we share. It unifies us and connects all life on earth. We cannot see it, it's invisible. But without it, there'd be no life. So breathe in this invisible life force, this healing energy. Fill your lungs and feel the life it gives you. And as you breathe out, Release all your personal stresses. Take another deep breath in. And exhale, allowing it to flow through your body. Breathe down through your head. Relax your eyes, your jaw, your neck. Breathe down through the arms down through to your hands and out through your fingers. Now another deep breath, breathing down through your body, all the way down through to your base, down your legs to your knees, down to your feet and out through your toes. Now visualize yourself in your special place or time on this fine winter day. And wherever you're enjoying your few minutes in your little bit of paradise, we'll begin our attunement for the healing minute. So we give thanks we're gathered here today. We ask that this place be filled with love, light, friendship and healing energies. Surround us in protection as we open our hearts and expand our consciousness 
to allow the flow of love and healing to come through us. As your crown chakra opens, you feel or imagine a column of pure white light filling your body. Then feel the balance and harmony within your body as the earth energy rises up through the soles of your feet and your base chakra. You feel your connection to the universal source of pure unconditional love, balanced by the nurturing protective love of Mother Earth. And Harry Edwards remembered, wherever you may be, I am there for you. You are not lost to me, I shall still care for you. I am not someone whom you've once have known, taken away to leave you all alone. Tell me of the pain or fear deep in your heart. Just softly speak my name, we're not far apart. So that in dreams, when the long day is through, I may send healing once again to you. And the great invocation. From the point of light within the mind of God, light has come forth into the minds of men. Light is now anchored on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, love has come forth into the hearts of men. Love has returned to earth. From the centre where the will of God is known, purpose is guiding the little wills of men, the purpose which the masters know and serve. From the centre which we call the race of men, the plan of love and light is working out and is cleansing harmful energies. Love, light and power are restoring the plan on earth. And now for the distant healing. We ask now that all the people whose names we hold in the distant healing folder may receive healing for their highest good. We also request healing for their family, friends and people for whom they've requested distant healing and that includes all the animals as well. May they all be placed in the healing light and receive that which they are allowed to receive for their highest good. And our thanks and blessings for your help here today and to all our friends in spirit. That was lovely. Thank you, everybody. Oh, wonderful energy as usual. Thank you. I'm just well no I won't have a water for a minute I'm now going to read the notices so this Wednesday and I can't believe it's the 1st of December we have another open healing circle with Teresa healing will be given out by the group and Alan will be doing a healing for you for everyone that will be on zoom only and then on Thursday at seven o'clock in the evening there's going to be a workshop online on how to sense energy and see the human aura. 
And this is a collaborative workshop between Harry Edwards Healing Sanctuary in England and the Healing in America based in California. They will share many years of experience in the healing arts field, helping you on a healing journey. And this can be booked through Eventbrite. And then on Friday, the 3rd of December at 7 p.m. in the evening, there will be a wonderful carol service, a Christmas carol service in the chapel at the sanctuary with lovely Doreen. If you're able to travel to the sanctuary, then do please join us for that evening. It's going to be very special. And then on Saturday, we have chakra dancing with Adele. Not the singer, I might add. Bring a friend or come alone for a day full of fun, mindful activities and to express yourself through freestyle dance. That sounds absolutely great fun. So do come along to that. And then on Sunday, on the 5th of December at 7.30 p.m., Lyndall will be with us for a guided meditation from her home in California. And that'll be on both Zoom and Facebook. So any of the events taking place at the sanctuary, all the details are on there, as well as on our Facebook and our website. And please contact Healing Reception if, to book a place if required. And some of you may have already seen an email from Linda Searle about the Cygnus Cafe. They're having a break in December and the beginning of January. However, there are plenty of high caliber, brilliant talks that have been recorded over the past 20 months, available on YouTube via our website. So do please investigate if you need to have a look there. So much information there. So have a good look. So now, as I said earlier, I'm going to read an article from the winter 2016 Healer magazine called Following a Healing Path by Michael Lewin. But before that, I'm going to have a sip of water. Oh, there we are. Yeah. Put that down there. So, following a healing path. All our suffering can be used as a meditation. Just sit with it in a relaxed, non-judgmental way, listening to what it's trying to say, what it's trying to communicate, giving it due weight so that we can understand it more and thereby assist ourselves in trying to reduce its impact on our lives. Healing is a process of coming to terms with acceptance. The acceptance that seems to us in times of deep pain as unacceptable. Any form of focused relaxation that we cultivate will have a curative effect on the mind, body and spirit. Healing is a coming into wholeness. If you are disciplined, committed, wholeheartedly dedicated to the healing journey, then how can it you fail? The conditions of our restorative well-being lies buried in our hearts and minds, awaiting patiently for our attention. In our darkness, our deepest despair, we might be tempted to give in, abandon whatever gains we have made. This is understandable, but with an enduring patience, born of hope and optimism, we will inevitably witness a turning of the tide. Believe and acknowledge this reality we must never underestimate our inner power, the capacity we all have to create and recreate our lives. Despite all the suffering that can descend upon us, we must acknowledge our moral authority to overcome and transform its influence. We are greater than our suffering, bigger than our pain, and we must never forget this. Despite all the difficulties that surface in our troubled waters, at one level, healing could be looked upon as a gatheredness, a holding of our pain and discomforts away from our normal, fragmented, contesting and fighting minds. Any authentic healing journey involves us in reaching out for the peace beyond our pain, the sanctity beyond our suffering, the calm beyond our confusion and uncertainty. Then we can secure a strong foothold in restorative health. Our hurt may need to be understood at a subterranean level 
So be prepared to go deep, very deep, much deeper than you'd ever been before. Healing tends to come in ripples, not torrents. It's quiet, not noisy, gentle, not forceful. And when we acknowledge this reality, we allow it to spread, to flourish in our lives, to create a self-nourishing holding that prepares us for a deeper understanding. Faith and confidence in a positive outcome is the only way forward into wholeness. Yeah, that was lovely, wasn't it? And lots of thoughts there. Lots of things to think about. Well, let me find what else. And on the theme of your healing path, we always help relax our clients with breathing exercises. And I found this wonderful track by Karen Drucker called Breathe from one of my favourite albums, The Art of Healing. Breathe. 
Karen Drucker from our wonderful album called The, Art, the Heart of Healing. It's wonderful. Got some beautiful songs on there. So when you do it too, please remember if you want healing or you just need a chat, we're here for you. Whether you can come to the sanctuary for contact healing or wish to arrange to have telephone, Skype or Zoom healings. Just contact us in the normal way to arrange an appointment and our details are on our website or Facebook page. So do too please join us on Wednesday to see Gary doing his Healing Minute. And if you wish to join us um, using the chapel webcam tomorrow and link in doing it that way, you can. Um, and you can get the link through our website page. And do remember, as our motto states, wherever you are, we're here for you. Have a wonderful day and week. Do please join us if you can for any of our events. And remember to take a few minutes each day for some me time some self-healing. Relax, do your breathing and visualisation exercises and re-energise and rebalance. Anyway, take care everybody and I'll just play out some of this lovely breathing music before I go. Bye-bye, everybody.